got some live action crawl space here today. We'll pass him. I think it's just by itself, a younger guy, so we're gonna grab him. It shouldn't be too tough. We got some backup here. We got the coon team. So we're going in there, live action. Yee! Where you went, hand me that light. It's got a lock on it. Yep, it's locked. Yep. Alright, this possibly got to be down here somewhere. We're looking, we're looking. Oh, you got to get back to this corner where it's tight. Keep your eyes open. You could be under the vapor barrier. See, it's moving, moving. We got him, we got him. Come back, come back. <coughs> All right, up in the corner. And to hold this one now. All right, Derek, you're right behind me, buddy. I can tap, man, I can tap. Watch out all this poo. Alright, get that bag ready. Open it the way. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Get away, come on, come on. Come on, turn. Coon team, hurry, hurry. All the way up there, the Camera. Ew. Camera. Camera. Uh, old dead possum. We've been here before. Sam. Sam. Watch out, watch out. Ah! That's enough! You can grab. Ah! Ah, I got it! I'm oh, good! He's faster than I thought. Holy snowy. Oh, 
Uh, we got them, just one down there. Look to your home, he's like, what the? Alright, first possum of the season by hand. Got a slow ear for pop. So we got leather gloves. I wear these ones, these are for big animals, large raccoons, coyotes, the Kevlar liner, and the leather. So they're bite proof, the only disadvantage is it's tough to make the neck grab because it's so big and bulky. So normally I use the smaller gloves for the little guys, that would have caught them right away instead of chasing them around everywhere. The old bite stick, you gotta get their teeth on the stick, keep their attention that way, and if you need to, block them off. I can use this for their neck, whatever kind of trick I want. Catch all you've seen in all my videos. Big aggressive animals. No fucking no messing around. Alright, so we got the possum here. You can see him. Pretty cool creatures. They're actually North America's only pouched animal and uh, came up from the south. They're an invasive species. They compete with all the skunks and raccoons here and just make all the wildlife a bigger problem as well as giving the coyotes easy pickings. Um, like I said, they're marsupial, not marsupial, pouched animals. They've been around for millions of years, like 50 million years. And they got 50 teeth all covered in bacteria feces everywhere, all kinds of parasites, diseases. You do not want to have these in your house or anywhere around your property if they're causing problems. If, if they're just outside once in a while, that's part of living in the area, urban country areas, even suburban areas, even downtown areas. No feeding, people feed them and they come around, they look for places to get in your house. If your house isn't secure, it's only a matter of time until you have wildlife problem. You gotta call me. Eee! Live action.